Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist, and we're out collecting right now. And I don't know if you can hear... We have a couple cicadas. I've heard a few of them so far, but I just finally found a couple of them. I think they're a Putnam's cicada. Definitely some stuff flying out, so let's see if I can catch them. All right, so we got a nice little opening right here. And there's a couple butterflies flying in here. Let's see, you got a nice little creek flowing here. The butterfly right there. Looks like a uh, Melissa Blue. I need to catch one more, at least. Um, so hopefully I'll just stay right there. We'll come back for that one. Uh, up here, well, you can actually kind of. I think you can. See it right there on the ground. There's actually a couple butterflies there. You have a Wedemeyer's uh, Admiral and another blue. That's definitely a beautiful species right there. There's actually a couple of them flying around right in here, as well as a pale swallowtail. Oh, a red admiral just took off right there. So I'm going to see if I can uh, collect a couple more things here, and uh, we'll keep on heading down the trail. Alright, so I'm going to begin the process of sorting the uh, pitfall traps for May. So what I'm going to do I'm gonna open these up and just dump it out. Container there. So that's a small one. And then here we have main 
jar. So now we have this full of everything, traps. And now I'm going to sort through this, fill this with water, transfer them there, clean them off, and then put them on a paper towel and let them dry. So I'm going to get started on this and I'll come back when I made some progress. All right. so. Finished sorting through everything. And as you can see, a lot of good sized beetles. Um, I'm having them dry out now for a little while. Then I'll start pinning them out tonight. Uh, setting aside some to go to other people, but majority of these I'll be keeping. Um, and obviously when I'm done painting them out, I'll show you guys the end result. But got a lot of awesome specimens. Really happy with what I collected in May and the pitfall traps. So a uh, success I think. So yeah, once they're all pinned out, I'll come back and show you guys. All right, so in the middle of everything here, um, the beetles or the pitfall traps should be uh, pretty dry by now. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead start pinning those out um, but I just got a package from my grandparents down in Texas um, so we're gonna go through the bugs that they sent me and uh, from from the first glance looks like I got some good stuff so number one here the long tailed skipper. Beautiful. And I think this is actually one I caught. I collected last time I was there in October last fall. That I forgot. Um, but finally got it back here. And this one here. We got. Dun beetles. Um, from what they told me, uh, the trail that they walk on all the time, they always find a lot of dead dun, dun beetles on there. So I told them to start collecting for me. So we got a couple of small. We have a scarab beetle here, actually. And uh, now this one. That is a gorgeous find right there. I'm really glad they were able to find one of these. I only have one other one in my collection. So. Luckily, you can find them pretty, pretty readily down where they are. You see, this is a really nice major male with that really awesome long 
horn right there. Rainbow scarabs are awesome. I'm really glad they. I'm really glad they cut stuff for me. So I'm really happy with that one. But the rest of the beetles here are really nice as well. Um, and then I have this bottle. Um, I'm gonna set you uh, set this down real quick and empty it out. Alright, so in the jar, I got a couple of nice click beetles there. Um, it's like a flower scarab. Ooh, a really nice looking fly. Looks like a tabanid. I've never seen one like that before. That's really no cool. Um, got another scarab there. Got a couple, a couple moths there. Looks like they lost a lot of scales though. But I'll see if I can salvage them. And then we got a another small beetle there. Then here, oh no, looks like it got some mold on it. Might soak it in alcohol for a little while. See if I can get this mold off. But uh, we have a ant. A late here. I think it's in harvest uh leaf cutter ant, but I'm not sure. First things first though, I'm gonna get it in a thingy of alcohol and see if I can get some of the get this uh, mold off because I really want to keep the specimen. But yeah, so I'm really happy with the insects they sent in this package. It's always awesome to see what they got for me. Um, yeah. So a nice little distraction there. Alright, so I finished sorting the pitfall traps and pinned everything out. Um, so these two piles are specimens I set aside. Just a random assortment of beetles uh, and here are ground beetles um, these are going I'm just, these are going to a couple of my friends who are collecting for me so I'm getting this stuff for them so these are going to them um, these are the beetles that I have left to go through but these ones are getting uh, going to be uh, pointed so I really don't need to worry about them right away 
And then this is everything else. See a really, really good high amount of Passamachus species. These really big ground beetles here. We have uh, I have quite a few uh, Necrophorus species as well. The uh, species of Sylphidae or the carrion beetles. Got a good number of those. Uh, a decent amount of some larger Eliotes, darkling beetles, along with some smaller darkling beetles as well. Got some scarabs mixed in there. Euphoria India, uh, Euphoria Inda. Uh, only a couple tiger beetles this time. Um, got a velvet ant there, a couple of Looks like a uh, Coraidi. I think Coraidi. The leaf footed bugs. Some small beetles. I got a. Uh, uh, quite a few weevils actually, so I'm happy about that. But uh, yeah. All in all, pretty, uh, pretty fruitful um, uh, month of pitfall for May. Hopefully June here will be just as good. Um, so, yeah. And with that, I think I'm going to uh, end this video. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Hope your guys' collecting seasons are going well, if you are collecting. Um, so yeah. Alright, so got everything I collected this weekend out. You can see I already pinned out a couple. Right there. And we have a bunch of smaller stuff I need a point. Got some small Buprestids. Um, a couple hoppers and other beetles. Also have this uh, Dusky Wing that I'm gonna spread. Um, Got some uh, Vespids here. Um, I'm not keeping these. They're, these are actually going to someone else. And all of these ones are also going to someone else. And he's pretty pleased with that. Uh, a few bee flies that he's interested in as well as the bumblebees and just some butterflies in general because he doesn't have any from this area um, so yeah although I'm not keeping everything from my uh, outing this time so I have a few things here and, uh, yeah. So, quite pleased. So, with that, um, and this video. So, hope you enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And, uh, hopefully, here I'll have another video here out, uh, shortly again. So, keep on bugging.